Welcome back to the channel guys, I am Zoltar424. In today's zombie video I'll be showing you how to get those wonder weapons. The first step will involve making sure that we're taking care of the mega bombers. For the mega bombers after the megaton splits, it will drop you the card once you destroy them. After that you will bring it to the weapons bay, which we just did, get the card out of there and then we will head back to the yard like to remove this obstruction just with a little bit of safe play and once we've done that we're going to want to insert this card turn it on remotely train the zombies and let the essence power the weapon now the weapon is ready and it is ours So we'll loop around here and then we will pick up our first wonder weapon, which will be the shockwave. Now we make our way back to the weapon, discharge it, and collect. One down, four to go. Guys, if you find yourself liking this video, by all means, hit that like button. And subscribe for more videos like this upcoming. For our next step in the process, we'll be collecting the Nova weapon. So we'll be, well, discharge the weapon, use the left trigger to pull this canister to us. Didn't mean to get the zombie. there's a trick to it aim above it and it should come to you now once we collect the canister we'll be going to the weapons bay and as we insert it into the cleaning unit we must wait for a dog round Once the dog round appears, make sure you are down here and by the canister. You're going to want to shoot the dogs for the fumes so that they can hit the canister. and you'll know you've done it right because you will get a notification from either Dr. Strauss or Dr. Gray. Our next step, now that we have the plague hound gas, is to head to the crash site. Here on the crash site, you will see a chest. Place the canister on top of the chest, bop it, and then your Nova weapon will be ready. Now if you noticed, I returned the Nova to the box and I picked the shockwave back up. The reason why I'm doing this is to set up for the next, which is a cryo emitter. In order for the cryo emitter, we have to go to the mezzanine and there's going to be a trunk that we have to shoot. Let's go up here, shoot this trunk, head back down. We are now going to move into the pond towards the truck. Grab this flask. Now, we're going to have to collect the material from this tree using a flask. However, we can only do that during a boss round in which the Megaton, after you make him immune, he will split into the Mega Bombers. You're going to have to get the Mega Bombers 
to shoot the plague mist towards that tree. You will know that you have it right if Dr. Strauss, well, he says what he just said. During some of the other runs you may have, you may get Dr. Gray, in which she would announce it. So that the tree is being primed, you will have to wait a bit before you can actually collect the fluid. But you place the flask right there. And then you can just go pack a punch if you need to, repair your armor and then just come back and collect and then you'll be able to go get your cryo weapon so I sped things along a little bit but it took about four minutes if I'm not mistaken as you can see now the liquid is ready Now, once we collect the liquid, we're going to want to head to the medical bay. Next to the speedy cold machine, you will find a weapon cache. Put the mutated liquid in there and you can collect your cryo emitter. Now that we have collected the first three, we still have two more to go. And those will require accessing the Dark Anomaly. Our first task in this dimension is to assemble the Aether Scope. It will be collected in three parts. This first part was here in the yard. Every time you collect a component of the ether scope, dogs will appear. As you can see that cryo emitter melts. Now you usually do not have that long in the other dimension. So if you can't get all three parts in one go, you can always find another Dark Anomaly and return to here. So here at the crash site will be the next part. It's going to be here on the wing. Collect that. And of course, dogs. And after we kill these dogs, the next spot that we'll move to is going to be underneath the pack a punch machine. Collect that part. And we are going to return to the normal dimension. And once we return to normal dimension, there's going to be a workbench underneath in which we'll assemble the ether scope. And here we go. It's our lucky day, Strike Team. We have new orders from the director. We are to shut down the dimensional breach in an effort. Now there is still another threat. part before Just we get the thermal weapon. If you wish to achieve absolute separation between dimensions, you'll have to shut down. We'll have to go back into the anomaly again. This will require a trip to the medical bay. Where we will need to pick up Dr. Vogel's diary.
War Machine. Grenades out. I'm saving my bullets for a rainy day. And once we reach the med bay, there will be an anomaly which we'll have to activate. On the computer, you will grab the diary. And the first location that we'll go to is going to be right below us. It'll be one of three. We must do these in order, by the way. So after we summon, give them the diary, and then we book it. The next location is going to be the trial station. Once we reach the trial station here in the control room, we'll of course reveal the spectral, give them the diary, and then we'll head to the workbench underneath the pack a punch machine. Once we reveal that spectral, then our next task is going to take us back to the normal dimension where we will activate the computer. Now that we've initiated that, we'll head to the crash site. When I was stationed here, we had a similar chamber in case of radiation exposure. It appears the device has been extensively modified to restore brain functionality to the living dead. Our next step is going to find a tree here in the crash site. We're looking for the fuse for the next wonder weapon. So we'll shoot this casing. Didn't have any luck picking that one up. All right, here we go. Once we grab the fuse, there's an anomaly that's gonna be by the tree. We will enter the dark ether and there we will fuse the thermo. Heading to the weapons bay area there's going to be a place where we're going to have to insert that fuse. There we go. Now that we've done that, we're going to return to the normal dimension and we're going to head to the pond. Once we've reached the pond, we will go to this truck and we'll collect our wonder weapon. The next part is also done in three phases in which we'll return to the ether realm again. But don't worry, I got you. To begin the assembly of the Electro Boat wonder weapon, we will come to this anomaly, which will be underneath the Pack-a-Punch machine.
once we go into the dark ether to assemble the electro bolt we will have to draw three essences This does require a wonder weapon. Our first location we'll be going to is the bedroom. And it's the same as you're drawing like when you're refilling your ammo. Hold down the left trigger if you're on console. Draw it here from the bedroom and then you'll return underneath the pack-a-punch machine. As you can see, there's another essence on the way. Unfortunately, we can only draw one at a time. Underneath the stairs, come to this chest here and shoot it. next area we'll be going to here is the pond. Draw the essence to the pond and then return to the pack-a-punch machine or the stairs rather. Usually I would edit for purposes but I wanted to show you in real time about how much time you actually have down there. Now, once you have drawn the essence and if you are returned to the normal dimension, you can still come here and shoot it in the machine. One of these days I'm going to get it right. Let's just call it a container or a weapon cache. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to go another round for that anomaly to appear in that spot. So if you're not fast enough, just go another round, come back to the anomaly, and then we'll finish the process. After re-entering the dark ether, we have made our way back to the tunnel and drawing our last essence that we'll need to complete the weapon. Once we fire this last trace of essence at the container, cash, whatever, we'll have to return to the normal dimension in order to retrieve our weapon from the cash. We are back. The weapon is ours. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you acquire all five wonder weapons. I hope that this video has been very helpful to you and that you will come back again. Thank you so much for watching. I am Zoltar424. Until next time, Zoltar out.